Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. Today we're going to fire up the Kamado Joe Classic and we're going to make a little bit of breakfast food. We're going to make some bacon, egg, and cheese cups. So let's get started. Okay, I've lit up my Kamado Joe grill with two Kamado Joe fire starter cubes down in the middle of the pile of charcoal and I've let the fire burn here for about 10 minutes with the lid open. And I've got my divide and conquer flexible cooking rack in place here with the X rack in the low position. And I'm going to set both halves of my heat deflector on the accessory rack and then set both halves of my grill in the top position. And we're going to set up today to cook somewhere around uh, probably around 375. To get set up to cook around 375, I'm gonna set my vent probably about right there, probably three quarters, two thirds to three quarters of the way open. And on the top vent, I'm gonna open the daisy wheel all the way, and I'm gonna open the slider a little bit also, and just watch it until it uh, reaches about 350 or so, and then I'll start tweaking the slider in the daisy wheel if needed. If I need to cool it down, I will close the slider, or if I need to warm it up, I'll open it some more to keep things going here. So we're gonna let this come up, like I said, to around 375 and stabilize there. While our grill's warming up, we're going to work on our egg mixture here. And I've already started out. I've got a mixing bowl here, and I have cracked 12 eggs into this bowl. And then we're going to add one half of a cup of whole milk, one half teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of granulated garlic, one half teaspoon of onion powder, one half teaspoon of dried thyme, and then about one teaspoon of whatever your favorite barbecue rub might be. And finally, I have a little over, just a little over a half a cup of finely diced red bell pepper. So I'm going to take my whisk and we're going to whisk all that together. And then we're just going to set this aside for a moment. Okay, what I've got here is a muffin tin that's the larger size muffins. These are about, you know, one cup size muffins. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tin and I'm going to coat it with some cooking spray. And then we are going to take each one of these tins. I'm going to start out with a half of a slice of bacon and just press it down into the bottom of the tin. And then we're going to take a full slice of bacon and wrap it around the walls and press it into place here. Just like that, all the way around the edges. And I'm going to repeat that process for each of these cups. And now that I have all the bacon in there, I have transferred my egg mixture to a measuring cup to make it easy to pour. And we are going to pour each of these bacon cups here almost full of our egg mixture. Just like that. And next, we're going to top each of these off with some shredded cheddar. And I'm, I'm a fan of the sharp cheddar. And then finally, I'm going to lay one little slice of mushroom right on top of each of these. And the next thing we're going to do is put them on the grill. Okay, we're cruising along right here at 375. So we're going to open up the Classic. And I'm going to set our egg cups right there in the middle of the grill. And we're going to let them cook. I'm not sure exactly how long this is going to take. But we'll start the timer now and I'll let you know. So we'll be back when they're ready to come off. All right, guys. We've been going about 40 minutes or so. And these look to me to be about ready. I've done a toothpick test. Or I actually used a bamboo skewer to check down in here kind of like you would a cake. To make sure these are done all the way through so we're going to let these cool for a bit we're going to take them inside and then we'll have a taste okay we've let these cool here for about five minutes or so so i'm going to take one out we're going to plate it and have a taste okay guys i'm going to just cut this in half and have a look down in there it's perfectly done these eggs are cooked all the way through I'm not sure how well you can see that from that far away but we're going to cut a piece off here and have a bite Mm. 
oh man, that has a beautiful flavor. These are still really hot. They taste delicious. This is a perfect, easy breakfast to make. You got two eggs, you got a slice and a half of bacon, and some seasonings with some cheese. Wow, that's beautiful. They're very easy to make, so give these a try. Let us know what you think. Follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Kamado Joe. Follow us on Twitter, at Kamado Joe. And until next time, this is John Setzler with Kamado Joe Cooking Channel.